The upcoming 3.1 version of Clover ETL is going to see some major improvements to the XML writer component. For example, you can now specify an XML schema file as the basis for the structure of the outputted file that you want this writer to create. If you don't already have a schema file, you can also create one using this new mapping editor, either the visual editor or the source editor. If you specified your own XML schema file, it's going to propagate itself onto this side where it shows the structure that was in that file. In this case, we created this structure ourselves using the built-in tools, which I can now demonstrate for you. This is a list of actors and then a list of movies that they were in. If I delete this movie element here, we can go on to actor, tell it to create a new child element, rename it to movie, drag it to wherever we want, and then drag whatever metadata we want attached to this element onto it, which creates a binding. And then we can add a new wildcard attribute that will automatically take the data from that binding and write it as attributes on this element. Now, right now, this is going to just create a new movie element for every single movie that you've read in. But if we want to match them up to actor, we can go onto this binding, go down to this property section, and set a key and a parent key. So in this case, we can use the actor ID key, which we can just type in right here. And then we can match that to the parent's actor ID in the actor fields. So that way, it will only write this element when these two keys match. If you want finer control over the mapping, you can also use this source editor, which is going to allow you to manage a more complex mapping or gain a little finer control over how the mapping is created. There's also been behind the scenes changes that allow this writer to function with a nearly infinite amount of data, no matter how much RAM your computer has. These changes, both behind the scenes and these visual changes, have made the XML Writer a much more powerful tool in the new version of Clover ETL.